Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tarvamap and today we're going to be talking about Lemurian Star Child Oracle. Uh, it is 88 card deck with 340 page guidebook, so it's quite a chunky a booklet that comes with this deck and the cards themselves i mean the deck them itself it's also quite um you know 88 cards so just a little bit more 10 cards more than a regular tarot deck if you know me i love bigger decks so i'm so happy that this deck has more cards i kind of i don't know it does something to me when i shuffle 25 cards or 30 cards it just doesn't doesn't shuffle well um, the deck was created by Leanne Carpenter and Michiel Kroon and it basically has its own system as an oracle so you can use it um, like I use it most of the time I just pull one two or three cards as like you know the healing message because it's meant to be a healing deck but if you want to work with the system a little bit closer and there's 10 categories for the new paradigm so it's a very kind of light field deck especially for people i think that are or feel connected to lemuriad and pleiades and um it comes you know with the intention of bringing the healing light um, from this type of lineage forward um, so in the book you also get some layouts and, <coughs> and then you get descriptions of the cards and there's quite a lot. There's numerology and paradigm and the keywords. Um, there's always a little mantra or uh, affirmation and a lot of descriptions. Also some meditation processes that you can do. So every kind of category of the 10 categories has a few cards uh, like 11 or 3 or whatever different number cards listed in them and um, you always get the introduction to the category uh, with the color mandala and then description of of the cards and meditation processes in some of them as you can see here um, it's definitely one of the oracles that is mostly you know a hug deck a healing deck it brings beautiful messages it does have some shadow cards as well or um you know shows some of the cards uh, or the concepts that it brings forth that can be uh, in the very you know the high octave of how we can heal ourselves but they also show where we can be out of balance here so in some way it is very um yeah an interesting deck you know i usually it's not my probably if you watch my channel you would be maybe even surprised that i um have this deck but uh, I really enjoy it. I really like using it and I really, especially now, feel like sometimes like really having this um, very uh, uh, kind of uh, spiritual and very um, light field perspective on things. And um, at times when I read the book, to be honest, like, you know, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Sometimes it's a bit too... <laughs> too light field maybe i'm not there yet uh, but as with every you know um, as with every book we do not have to take everything from the book right um so you always are selective and use your discernment about about it but all in one a lot of work and a lot of beautiful intention and a lot of healing energy went into this deck and into writing this book and right now i'm going to show you um all of the cards so again as always if you don't want to see all the cards please um you know skip parts of this video so that you get um a surprise at the end if you like that i like to see all the cards that's why i'm showing all the cards this is the regular tarot size um, and this is the size of the card so it's quite a large oracle it's longer than a regular tarot as you can see and wider as well 
but for example compared to <coughs> Mother Mary, so like Alana Fairchilds and all the other oracle cards, it is where where are we? So it is a little bit narrower, but just this tiny bit um, longer, just like, like you know, a few millimeters. So if you know how big these cards are, like Romy Oracle or you know any like Wild Quanine Oracle and so on. Um, even Byron, Byron, uh, Colored Byron Reed, I think they similar size, so this oracle is kind of similar but a bit narrower. You get a sense of the size. And these are the bags. The bags are beautiful. The deck comes from um, Glastonbury area, so it's very inspired by the ley lines there and the energy there, which we know uh, it's very unique and healing and um, yeah, an interesting energy if you know about this. I pulled my Lemurian crystal, some of them, because I really love Lemurian quartz and you usually recognize Lem Lemurians through these kind of, um, you know, like those steps or the lines on the crystal. This one was sent to me once. It's actually from Mount Shasta and was sent to me by this amazing woman I did a swap with. Um, and I really love these quartz. Um, there's also this one that I have with this beautiful timeline. And one of my very, very pure gateway initiator quartz. Um, Lemurian quartz that I brought at some point from Australia. So yeah, <clears throat> and this oracle kind of, um, I don't know, not forces you, but in encourages you to open up to some new possibilities, you know, because we don't really know. And if some people feel in tune, um, if, if you feel kind of uh, drawn to the kind of, um, I don't want to, judge it but like new agey <laughs> new agey feel a little bit because it does have a little bit of it but i think it has also depth of healing and um, that maybe distinguishes this deck in some way um, from some other decks that i didn't feel particularly drawn to um, so just judge for yourself you know this is the gold um, gilding it's really beautiful so the cuts are well printed this is nice paper it's soft and um, it has this good feel in the hands but again if you have very small hand it might be quite difficult for you to shuffle i have to shuffle it like uh, lengthwise um because like this i can't you know i i can barely hold it but i i could split it and do it but you can also go of course like overhand shuffle like this or spread the cards around and pick, you know, there's many ways. Okay, so let's go before this becomes really long. How are we going to do it? Maybe like this. And I would love to bring it a little bit closer. Do I need more light here? Let me just see if it helps. So here we have on each card, you get this beautiful image. Uh, and this one, how stunning is this for the first image? I really love some of the artwork, it's amazing. So this nurture, very walking with Mary and you get the number and um, the cards are color coordinated. So at the end of the book, you know that this one would be from the source and you have this little symbol he here and the little symbols on the side that also show you where the card belongs. You've got page number. But also at the end of the book, you get um, all the cards and keywords and pages. And you get a little um, glossary if you got lost with the, you know, Lemuria and Arcturians and Astral Realms and Christ Consciousness. So it's a very high vibe deck. Um, and I don't know, I really like it. So let's go. So Nature, Self Healing, Ruby Ray, Birthing the New Earth. I think it's a beautiful um, deck to get inspired with right now because I think we are going through initiation, we are going through a portal and um, a lot of energies are becoming available to us that maybe were available to us at some point but you know somehow we felt disconnected from them. So here some of the cards also are very body aware which I love. 
and there is a lot of this kind of Lemurian watery uh, signs like you know dolphins, whales and um, star beings, angelic beings so if somebody has allergy to this so this is not a deck for you but if you open enough to you know explore this for yourself you might be really surprised uh, what this deck has to offer. A few cards go um, horizontal, like the stepping stones. Take the next steps. A step, let go of the old paradigm. It, the artwork is light filled. The artwork is beautiful, and um, there is also this kind of earthy and shamanic bit to this deck, especially this wisdom. Uh, where, uh, and depth also where you have a little bit more of the shadow uh, shadow aspects added but all of them are always looked at from how can you embrace it how can you do it you know how can you um, make it work for yourself like light language I love this card you know universal language of oneness of love listen with your heart how do you speak at this moment there's observation so also some animal um, uh, wisdom here, resolution, all times collapse, uh, timelines collapsing, insights, higher self embodied expression, vision of unity. I don't know, this deck just makes me um, want to open up a little bit, open up my mind, uh, open up my heart, allow you know um, some support to come through. So there's another divine masculine rise to tr of true gentle power true strength so that's also beautiful they have a few cards for um, the divine masculine which i really appreciate um, so we have opening of the heart way of pearls and as i said the color and the little um, symbol they put the cards back to this um, categories essences and energies so also you can use this deck you know to create energy uh, essences i think mm, key to your freedom healed in a child how gorgeous with this key in the keyhole the artwork is really stunning really really beautiful rising to play it in frequencies so um while i'm showing this deck i'm going to link an affiliate link below because I know that a lot of you already have bought this deck, but <laughs> if anybody wants to uh, buy it, um, you can use the link I provide in the description box and I will get also, um, you know, some return back for showing it to you. That would be appreciated, especially right now. Um, cosmic Circles. So yeah, Cosmic, it's a good uh, name for this deck as well expression authentic expression words are powerful and truth storm and i love some of them you know they don't shy from the natural feeling so it's okay to feel it all cleanse collapse of the old and realignment but always it is shown from the empowering perspective so it's a good deck to have like you know a hug deck and a healing deck integration forgive self and others reunion let go of defenses open the door and so some of the ancient you know angelic beings arcturians so if somebody's interested in all these um cosmic uh, family you probably will know the names cosmic heart so some of them I really love the artwork like especially when there is no people in there um, or humanoid but some of the kind of more um, abstract ones are beautiful like this abundance is cool flow really love it release control divine will oceanic consciousness that's I feel like it's a beautiful cut for the now oh, the new man how beautiful enlightened masculine whale teaching yeah there's a lot of whales and dolphins crown for the crown chakra and this is also very similar to this image from the back heart of ascension ascension cities of light 
heaven on earth all are invited to fifth dimension new earth spirit in matter i like the last one Lemur lemurian shaman shadow dissolving in gaze of truth that's beautiful going beyond fear initiation that's also a good card for now earth angel creation breathing the last cloak release old identities magnificence released that's beautiful i love this image actually multi-dimensional guidance shine your light which reminds me of Quanin. i think that it was meant to be oh yeah <laughs> it says Quanin. a divine cosmic mother womb gorgeous earth and air so there's also some elementals ether and matter dolphin baby there's all these babies um like the children of lemuria like blu-ray being dolphin baby indigo child earth angel rainbow child crystal child restore so not many but quite a few of those horizontal ones inner child and tunement again very merry right initiation sacred mountain tree of life family of light indigo child star children no veil psychic different psychic different cosmic inspiration and light Lemurian guide awakening know who you are DNA activation sovereignty right to choose immunity to hooks rainbow child blessing beyond the soul path I think it would be a beautiful deck to use with children too I played with it with my niece and she loved it breathe the sun presence pineal activation relax let go unlock your gifts sacred gifts energy senses pure love is the key joy of life healing gentleness of love realignment and transformation gorgeous god for now as well to empower collective energy peace beyond survival wow that's really cool i love this one too divine feminine it's so beautiful receive your birthright unconditional love ah the rose lineage so awesome well of dreams fire and water that's the other elemental card that we had we had two before crystal child manifest synchronicity beyond cycles dove of peace stay in the heart all is well be at peace i love this card <laughs> lemurian egg fire of transformation that's what we're going through radical purification violet flame surrendering resurrection ships of light and travel so these are all the cards and i actually found that it this oracle works so well with the animal realms oracle i don't know if you guys have it if you've seen it um you can see the review of this deck on my channel in the playlist tarot and oracle reviews but i want to show you well let's pull one card for us as a collective reading um, for today how can we be open to more healing and key to your freedom so healed inner child create inner safety and self-kindness and if we just wanted to check so this is the purple so the wisdom category and key to your freedom is page 215 so if we just look to 215 
we see here that the key to freedom is within use it to find your way of pair so it describes all the group but category overview color is violet numerology 6 6 and 12 so it's etheric number higher self divine masculine and feminine in balance and here we have healed inner child create inner safety be kind to yourself and balance i let go of the past as light and love floods my whole being i am home and um we can I'm going to hold it like this for a while. You can take a look. I'm not going to read it all because it's long. Uh, but there is a meditation also, like, and it's in done in simple steps. Um, so you can do this little kind of process with this card and affirmation. The love that I am as part of the creator is bringing me and my inner child back to truth. So this is what the kind of book looks like but it's a bit different for you know each category you don't get meditations everywhere and so on but here we have that this key to freedom right now maybe we are also going through collective chiron return so right now it might be a beautiful time also to reconnect to our sacred wounds and uh, use this time as a you know beautiful healing opportunity and even working with the sacred um goddess lineage like mary or mary magdalene or anything that you know any type of goddess that you feel drawn to uh, or god for that matter and that brings us to create our inner safety this is only a reflection of what's um, what's inside of you so as i said this um sacred journey into the animal realms by my friend kai Krau. Um, who has been, you know, bridging and uh, anchoring the light here on earth for many, many years now. And they look with her partner Gil after lots of um, animals. They run the animal shelter. I found that this deck works really beautifully with, uh, with the Lemurian star child. And here we have that key to your freedom um, with the inner child and miracle from Kai's um, from Kai's uh, deck and Miracle speaks about birth, uh, bright light that pierces the darkness, warrior strength with army of light supporting, inevitable gifts of a path walked in trust, miraculous intervention and healing. So with the combined forces of our rare white kangaroo and our tiny frog mouth this is a powerful card that gives hope in the darkness just like the mother can embrace you a bringing strength when we are tired it tells us the forces that walk with us are ancient and strong uh, keep going my loves you have an army of light with you and the blessings of your path are assured so how wonderful um do both of these decks work together and yeah i think like this is our healing this is our healing right now so i'm just going to play this beautiful ball and send you off with a blessing thank you for watching bye